Hi, I'm Brandon Vidalich from the men's Nebraska tennis team. This is Tennis 101, and today we're going to work on the serve. We're going to look at three aspects, the toss, your positioning during the toss, and your follow-through. Okay, the first aspect is the toss, but to have a good toss, we need to have our feet set. So our front foot needs to be pointed at the opposite net post. We have the ball in front of us set on our throat of our racket or on the string, and when you toss the ball, you want it to be in front of you, so you should be able to catch the ball in front of you, so it should look something like this. Okay, so the ball is in the air, now we need to get into position to hit the serve. And this is what tennis players call the trophy position. Your tossing hand is up, and the racket is tilted back, so you're ready to explode and go up into the ball. So we're in our trophy position, and we need to extend into the ball. One big misconception about the serve is that it's a downward motion. The only people that can hit down on the serve are people who are 6'10", like John Isner, for instance, on the tour. So we need to hit up on the ball. So we're in this position right here, we need to extend and hit the ball at its highest point and then follow it into the court. You're going to have a lot of trouble with your serve if you're falling backwards or to the side, so you need to make sure you're moving forward. Okay, I've got my feet pointed at the net, I'm going to toss the ball out in front of me, I'm going to get in my trophy position and notice how I hit up on the ball and into the court. Hopefully these tips will help you have a better serve on the court. That's all for this time, tune in next time where we'll work on the volley.